Hi, my name is Katerina Dino and I am the head of the Youth Advisory Council for MentalHealthLiteracy.org. We decided to create the Youth Advisory Council for a number of reasons, primarily being that young people are too often excluded from conversations about their mental health. And when we don't value youth perspective and voice, we isolate youth. I love that about mental health literacy, that our voices and our experiences and opinions are valued. So our role is essentially to offer input, advice, and basically the youth perspective on all of the materials, resources, and curriculums we develop in order to make sure that they are the best they can possibly be for teachers, healthcare providers, and anyone and everyone who works with kids. Uh, so without further ado, meet some of our Youth Advisory Council. Hi, my name is Mara, and I reside here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. My name is Marcus. I'm from Ohio, born and raised, and spent five years in California and now living in Calgary, Canada. My name is Rachel, and I'm from Calgary, Alberta. Hi, my name is Mike. Um, I moved to Canada at the age of 13 from Korea. Hi, my name is Zoe, and I'm from Vancouver, BC. The reason why I joined the YAC, the Youth Advisory Council, is because I saw it as an opportunity to expand my mind, to make more of an impact, to ultimately educate myself on mental health literacy so that I am better equipped to support those now and in the future. Uh, I joined the Youth Advisory Council because I understand and have a passion for making sure that youth and underprivileged groups have access to mental health resources that are necessary to lead a happy and fulfilling life. Uh, I know what it's like to be one of those youths, to feel that I don't have the access and the, the knowledge to address problems that are important to me in my world in order to make changes necessary to lead that happy and fulfilling life that I know I wanted when I was a kid. I joined the Youth Advisory Council because as a psychology undergraduate looking to enter the field of mental health, I'm passionate about educating young people on this topic. As youth, we have such a powerful voice and ability to help our peers, and I want to be a part of the change. And I think the Youth Advisory Council is such an amazing place to be able to do that. And I decided to join the Youth Advisory Council in hopes of learning a little bit more about mental health literacy and other topics um, and raise awareness about mental health in general. I joined the Youth Advisory Council because I was interested in learning more about mental health and how to remove the stigma surrounding the conversation. Um, in middle school and high school, I struggled a lot with my mental health and with anxiety and depression. And I noticed that my classmates and friends around me also had their own troubles and couldn't quite speak about it. Since then, I've developed a huge passion for studying the brain, what makes it work, and how to maintain a healthy brain. And I hope to pursue a career in healthcare and generally take care of the people around me. The simple idea that everyone struggles with mental health and that it takes different forms, that it manifests differently for different people. I have a lot of control over it, that I'm not a victim to my circumstance, my situation, or my environment, and that there's a lot I can do to improve where I'm at and how I feel about myself, about my, the world around me, about the people around me, uh, and just overall about life in general. I wish that I knew that there were options and that there was tactics, that there was practices that I could have done that could have drastically impacted my happiness and fulfillment as a kid. In my experience, I was taught a lot about what anxiety and depression can look like in youth. But a big part of the reason why my experience with my mental health was so challenging was because I felt like those were the only two options for me. And anything else would be exceedingly obvious and someone would have figured it out. However, mental disorders aren't always obvious. And that's where learning about a wider range of what mental health and illness can look like could help youth get the help they need as soon as they need it. Um, when I was asked, how are you doing today? Or how are you feeling today? I automatically associated those words with my physical well-being and physical well-being only and never had the opportunity to actually reflect upon what those words really mean. Uh, and never really had the opportunity to learn and look within to explore how I was feeling in those situations. 
and um, with mental health especially what was going on around the world in the past year it's more important than ever for us to be discussing um, it, uh, topics surrounding mental health it gets complicated when there's different chemicals in our brain that aren't quite working as an, as normal I guess and that's when it becomes a disorder um, I wish I had known that it doesn't take just one grand event for someone to have um, an episode of depression but it could be a genetic predisposition or just a series of events and sometimes no reason at all I wish that educators were more cognizant that despite having lived fewer years of life, having experienced fewer years of life, that youth also struggle with mental health. I believe that the sooner we're able to make mental health literacy a normalized part of the conversation, the sooner efforts can be made to attend to those who need help the most. I wish that teachers knew that their expectations can literally change lives for the better or the worse. I wish that they knew that Assuming the best, belief and encouragement can be a make or break for students. I wish they knew that uh, with the right perspective and the right, right mindset that students who are challenged and who are um, falling behind can actually skyrocket and reach more than they even thought possible by having that extra validation, the resources that they need and, and the willingness to have somebody work with them to do better in school and in life. What mental health can look like outside of the most obvious or common signs and symptoms. I think mental health literacy is about understanding how diverse the experience of mental health and illness is for everyone. And I wish one of my teachers had recognized how much I was struggling and not just seen good grades and assumed I was doing perfectly fine on the inside as well. It can happen to anyone. Um, I think I was very aware that something felt off when I was in early middle school, which to me, it didn't seem like anyone would believe me. Um, I wish my teachers had known that um, something felt off as well and that they checked in with me and that they were more open to talking about it. Um, I was really lucky that in high school, one of my teachers reached out to me after I was consistently not finishing my exams on time. And we talked a little about test anxiety and that's when my journey to recovery and treatment started. Um, they made a huge difference on my life. Finally, thank you. Thank you to all educators out there for inspiring your students, for nurturing curiosity, and for fostering lifelong learning. Personally, I believe that being an educator is one of the most noble career choices out there. So again, thank you. I have to say a quick thank you to the educators who have done so well by me. Uh, I have been fortunate and privileged to know the benefits of having educators who care, who support, who take time to uh, show me and guide me and speak to me, uh, not just academically but personally and have my well-being and my best interest at heart to make sure that I became the man that, that they knew was possible. I'm forever grateful for those educators and I'm grateful for all educators who take the time to do those same things to make sure that their students can accomplish great things too. I want to thank educators so much for working tirelessly to support the growth and development of young people. Your efforts are not unseen, especially in the year we've just had. Your continued passion and dedication to youth success is so inspiring. I wanna thank you all for the amazing work you do to give us all a brighter tomorrow. Educators play a really important role in that. Uh, being an educator sometimes means that you're working really hard uh, without receiving a thank you from many of your students but you are doing great work you're creating an environment where kids feel safe and comfortable enough to explore the options that the world has to give so once again thank you very much for all your hard work and please take care thank you so much for all of the hard work you do and for taking the time to learn more about mental health and how to care for your students um, you have a huge heart for doing that and 
you really shape the future. So thank you so much. <laughs>